Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we'll be talking about how to use distribute by keyword to automatically file your documents in ScanSnap Organizer. So a lot of people who own ScanSnap use ScanSnap Organizer and it's a great way, you know, you scan your documents into it and you can have your cabinet set up here and you can take this document that I've scanned and I can drag it over to any of these cabinets here. But let's say that I want to set up some rules that will let me automatically file these documents. We can do that using keywords and a keyword is not to be confused with a searchable PDF. Uh, when the ScanSnap scans a PDF it will make it searchable so it'll go through try and recognize all the words in the document and then you can use Windows search or you know what other, whatever other search program you have to try and find the words in that document. Keywords are certain words that you yourself can set to give you some extra searching functionality. But ScanSnap Organizer has the ability to automatically file them based on those keywords. So let's take this document here. I'm going to show you two ways that you can have the distribute by keyword function work. The first is we're going to give it a keyword and the second is we're going to use a highlighter pen and scan a document and have the ScanSnap automatically recognize those keywords. So let's say that this, this uh, file here, we want to give it a keyword. So I'm going to hit Edit Keyword. That's going to come up. We're going to hit Add. And just for this example, I'm going to, I'm going to put ING here and hit OK. Oops. So now when we go up to edit keyword, we can see here that the keyword has ing. So let's say we want to create a what's called a distribution condition or a rule based on this document. So I'm going to click on this little triangle here under distribute by keyword, choose create distribution conditions using this file, and you can see now it's created a new rule and what I'm just going to call it file ing and it's automatically populated the character string ing here which is the keyword that we had given that document. We can put some other ones if we want. So here's what you t where you tell it what you want it to look for and then here is where you tell it where you want it to move to. So just in this example let's say we want it to move to reference and hit OK. So now, if I want to move it, all I need to do, and you can see how if you have a bunch of documents, you could give them all keywords, and if I want it to automatically move it, we just have to hit this Distribute by Keyword button, choose Distribute, and you can see it's disappeared from the inbox. So now when I go down here to Reference, it should be there, and there it is we've automatically moved that file just by giving it a keyword. You can see how if you scan your documents in, you could set up a bunch of rules, and then as you have your different bills and stuff like that, you can go through, give them keywords, and then you can have the ScanSnap automatically file them all away where they're supposed to go. So that's pretty handy. But with the ScanSnap, you can also use a highlighter pen, mark the document, and then have the ScanSnap automatically recognize it, file it, based on the content of the document. And we'll show you how that works now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to right click on the ScanSnap Manager icon, choose Scan Button Settings, and then choose one of my profiles. I'll just, for, just for the sake of argument, I'll just use this searchable PDF one. And what I want to do is go to the File Option tab, where I already am. And you can see here there's an option, Set the Marked Text as a Keyword for the PDF File. And we're going to check that. It's just saying Confirm the Keyword after scanning, that's fine. And you, you have a choice, first, first Mark Session, which means it finds the first highlighted section of the document, or you can have it choose All Mark Sections. We're just going to leave it at mark First Section for now. And just to make, speed things up in this demo, I'm going to uncheck Convert to Searchable PDF. You wouldn't do this normally, but I'm just going to do it for this example. 
just to show that we're truly using the keywords. So I'm going to hit apply here. And yes. And what I'm going to do is take a document, highlight it, and then we'll scan it. Okay, so I have this piece of paper here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a blue highlighter, and I'm going to highlight the phrase marker editor, and just for fun, the phrase QuickTime. And let's see how that goes. The color that Fujitsu recommends are either pink, blue, yellow, or green. But because I have an S1100, they recommend using blue or green. Okay, so the document's scanning now that I've highlighted it. And we'll just let it go through. And you can see now it's recognizing the text in the mark sections. That's the keyword scanning. And now we have our document here in our inbox. So if we take this document and we go up and we hit edit keyword, we should see that if you remember the first thing we highlighted was the phrase marker editor. So we should see that that's the keyword and that's what we see right here. So the ScanSnap has recognized the keyword from the highlighting that we did. So we could have done this ahead of time, but I'm just going to quickly create a distribution condition using this file. And we're going to say uh, file marker documents, just so we know ahead of time what it is. We want the character string to be marker editor. And we're going to file it in reference. And now when I hit distribute, and we go down to the reference folder, you can see there it is. So it's used the text that was on the document, recognized the highlighting, and, and moved it based on that. So if we had set up this rule ahead of time, and let's say this is a monthly bill and it has the word, I don't know, Comcast on it, and it's something that the ScanSnap can recognize, a black and white document, you can use that to automatically file these documents going forward. Pretty handy tip. So for more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks a lot.